this video, we'll discuss insecticide resistance and how to use CDC's bottle bioassay to test mosquitoes for resistance. The use of insecticides to kill mosquitoes is one part of an integrated mosquito management program. Over time, and with repeated use, insecticide resistance can occur in mosquito populations. Mosquitoes develop resistance to insecticides in different ways, which are referred to as a resistance mechanism. CDC's bottle bioassays can detect the strength of that mechanism. Insecticide resistance is an overall reduction in the ability of an insecticide to kill mosquitoes. This means that, when used as directed, a product no longer works or only partially works to control mosquitoes. Insecticide resistance can be product specific or it can develop to a certain class of product. CDC has developed a test or assay to determine if a particular active ingredient in an insecticide is able to kill mosquitoes. In particular, it detects changes in the time it takes an insecticide to kill a mosquito. The technique, referred to as the CDC bottled bioassay, is simple, fast, and cost-effective compared with alternatives. Detecting insecticide resistance early is important to monitoring the effectiveness of mosquito control strategies and can help guide programs on which insecticide to use for spraying. Mosquito control programs in the United States can order CDC bottle bioassay kits. Each kit includes manual, lab mat, measuring tube, insecticides, disposable pipettes, aspirator, tube holder, and bottles. Programs using CDC's bottle bioassay kit will also need to supply mosquitoes for testing, a timer, markers, tape, acetone or technical grade absolute ethanol, and safety equipment such as gloves, goggles, and lab coat. To perform the CDC bottle bioassay, a bottle is coated with a known amount of insecticide. This is called the diagnostic dose. Mosquitoes are then put into the bottle and observed for two hours. At selected time points during those two hours, the number of dead mosquitoes are counted. The test should be run for the entire two hours, unless all mosquitoes have died before the two hours has ended. Resistance is determined by the percentage of mosquitoes that die at the predetermined threshold time during those two hours. This is referred to as the mortality rate. Diagnostic doses and threshold times are determined using susceptible mosquitoes or those mosquitoes that haven't yet developed resistance to insecticides. For example, in this table, 45 minutes is the threshold time for Culex pipiens exposed to 2.25 micrograms of Nalid. Mosquitoes that have developed resistance to insecticides will take longer to die. The shape of the mortality curve beyond the threshold time gives valuable information on how strong the expressed resistance is. Let's look at an example. Say you logged the number of mosquitoes that had died at 15 minute intervals. Your mortality curve might look like this. The shape of the mortality curve beyond the 45 minute threshold time or the time at which point all susceptible mosquitoes should have died gives valuable information on how strong the resistance mechanism is. In this case, we were able to see that wild mosquitoes are resistant to the insecticide tested. In wild population one, they die soon after the threshold time. This means that the resistance mechanism is weak. In wild population two, some mosquitoes never died in the two hour period. This means that the survivors have a strong resistance mechanism. Routine testing using the bottle bioassay will help you monitor changes over time. Programs in the continental United States and its territories can order free insecticide resistance kits by sending an email to usbottleassaykit at cdc.gov and requesting an order form. Kits include bottles, insecticide, and manual. You can access the CDC bottle bioassay manual at any time by visiting www.cdc.gov forward slash mosquitoes.